Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay, well before I begin, I'm not giving you guys any medical advice or making any medical claims. But with that said, this video is actually for one of my family members' friends. There's a few friends of them, unfortunately, that have cancer and they want to learn more about hydrogen. So, you know, I was asked to make this video. So that's for them. But if anybody else can get benefit out of this, great. So again, this is not medical advice. And before I begin, I will let you know, yes, we're going to be talking about hydrogen and some of the science in regards to cancer and cancer treatments actually, survival rates, all sorts of information like that. And I will say that the equipment that you use to make the hydrogen does matter quite a bit actually. And so my protocols are based on the equipment that I personally recommend because I don't recommend anything that's not pure hydrogen. So I don't recommend Brown's gas or a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen. And I don't recommend anything that uses lye, especially that's actually the worst actually stuff out there. Um, never use lye when making hydrogen. It's unnecessary. It's just low technology and it's toxic. So just with that being said, let's go ahead and move forward and let me give you guys the data and more specifically some people out there who I don't, I'm not going to share their names on camera, but okay. So this is the data in regards to hydrogen, pure hydrogen. One of the things that, that has been shown is that it does increase the survival rate. Um, I'm going to be pulling up some stuff here. So you'll, I'll be looking over here. So it increases survival rate. Uh, a lot of this data obviously is coming from Japan. I've seen it a lot. In fact, I knew of somebody who was given six months to live. They used hydrogen. They were told that even chemo and everything would not help. It was a woman who had breast cancer really bad. It spread really bad. And they gave her, I believe, about six months to live, maybe even a little less. They did the treatment anyway, but she used hydrogen. She actually specifically used the Hydrofix, following actually my type of protocol. And she did that. And she's still alive to this day. And that was years ago. Um, I'm trying to remember how long it was. I don't know, five, six years ago? It was a while ago. Um, so that's one thing that, that has been seen. So in my opinion, it's a no-brainer to be using hydrogen uh, during treatment or if you decide to do a different type of protocol. It does improve quality of life also. Um, so what I mean by that is, I'll give you one example. I actually have a friend, unfortunately, that's dealing with cancer. And he, I told him, I said, look, clean water, clean hydrogen, it's a big no-brainer, especially if you're going to go through treatment, which is what he wanted to do. I have my own protocol. I'll we'll talk about that in a second but he decided to do conventional treatment. The shocking part was his doctors were absolutely blown away by his response to the chemotherapy and how he's not getting sick. And here's the crazier part. He literally goes into you know, a medical center where they're gonna give you the medicine, the chemotherapy, which causes a lot of people to get sick, nauseous, they, they look terrible. And apparently he's looking great. He's even gaining weight during the treatment. And he literally brings in food and he's eating while getting chemotherapy, which nobody does because people get sick. And the doctors are just blown away. Like even all the other patients watching this guy eating a sandwich while he's getting the treatment. And they're like, how is this possible? Now, they don't know about hydrogen, but that's my point is that it can improve quality of life, you know, based on some of those circumstances. In fact, I've, I've also said before, hydrogen appears to help with oxidative stress. Having oxidative stress leads to different diseases, in, it appears, including like cancer. And I say that because if you have too much oxidative stress in your liver, you're going to have liver issues too much in your colon, wherever you have too much of it. So it helps with the oxidative stress. So that, that's kind of important. And sh I should mention that it's also been shown to protect DNA, which is very important because we're talking about a mutation. That's what cancer appears to be, right? A mutation. And then it begins to replicate and it spreads and whatnot, which actually reminds me of the next point, which is that it appears to suppress somatic mutations, but also, let me see here, I thought I read it here somewhere. Um, well, it protects from radiation, which stay tuned till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you some footage from Japan actually showing how hydrogen protects you from radiation. Uh, so this is really, really, really important. And it aids in the effectiveness of the conventional treatments, which is kind of mind boggling, but that's what was observed in Japan a lot. And then I've personally seen that a lot with people that I know or people who I've spoken to. In fact, I actually got a testimonial for that. I just got an email like, I think less than a week ago and I haven't even done the video on it yet. Where what happens is, let's say they tell you you need so many treatments, uh, let's say chemotherapy, when they're using the hydrogen, you need you appear to need less, much less. I don't know why this happens. Well, I think I know why, but science really doesn't know why just yet, why this is happening. But that way you get less treatments, so it ends up being more effective and you get less exposure to the, to the toxic uh, chemotherapy. But it also aids in protection against a lot of these drugs. And in that regard, what I mean is, like I'll give you one example. There's a drug called cisplatin. It's a cancer drug. And usually doctors don't like using it because it destroys your kidneys. And so I even saw a study where they used hydrogen with the cisplatin 
and it protected the kidneys so much. This is one of the reasons I love hydrogen. I just use it regularly anyway because we're being exposed to so much stuff in our food, water, air, and it goes on and on. And so it protected them so much. Typically, a person on that kind of drug would usually have to go through a kidney transplant. But in this particular case, it appears that you could potentially keep your original kidneys, which would be nice in my opinion. Okay, so it protects you from radiation. Um, I did find stuff that it shows uh, it suppresses the spread of cancer. That is obviously really great. You don't want it to metastasize and, and whatnot. And I've even found some research showing that it can induce certain cancer cell death. So it's so very positive in regards to that. Um, and I did even find some stuff that shows that it can suppress uh, cancer cell growth. So all these things are very positive. Um, I think that's about it, actually. Let's go ahead and shift gears and let me show you what it can do. Some footage from a lab in Japan. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, sorry for the terrible recording job because I, I don't know how to edit videos, but this should help you out here. So these green cells are cells that are alive and they're about to be exposed to chemotherapy, some radiation, and, and you can see the red part. This is cellular death, and this is one of the issues with such treatment, right? So you can see that it's just massive. See, there's a little bit of cells that survive. Now, this is the same exact test, except now they're giving hydrogen. So start looking for the cell death, you ready? Keep your eyes on it. Where is it? There's some right there. There's some right there. Here's some right here. But look how much protectiveness is being given by the hydrogen. And this is exactly what I was trying to show you. I personally think it keeps the body so strong um, that this is the reason that the body ends up able to respond better to things like the chemotherapy because otherwise it just kills everything. You can see the red over here. It's kind of blocked because this was from a place in Japan here but you can certainly see the difference and that's what I was kind of ultimately trying to show you guys and this is actually kind of an old video that I had done here again you can see them side by side I mean just the difference is night and day guys and they've been observing this in Japan for quite some time so, all right, guys, I just wanted to share that information with you. I hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to support the channel. You know, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Not only does it help the channel, but it really helps spread the word about this type of modality that a lot of people don't know about, including doctors and physicians. They really don't know a lot about it. And it's important for them to find the information because they can actually read about it. There's tons of science to support, you know, the data and, you know, this showing that it can help with so many different conditions. I mean, I personally have seen it. I've obviously experienced that I was once extremely sick and on my deathbed and it's absolutely changed my life. But like I also said before, I have a whole protocol that I personally came up with and not a lot of people want to try it because it takes a little bit of effort. It's not that expensive, but it does take effort because you have to change certain things in regards to your lifestyle. But there was a guy, this was I believe about two years ago now, maybe three, it, it wasn't super long ago, who did have cancer, did not want to go through conventional treatment. He was willing to do absolutely anything. I spent a lot of time with him, teaching him, quote unquote, how to change your life and how to do certain things. And he did it and he ended up, his tumors went away. He ended up being cancer free and still is to this day. He still contacts me and whatnot, um, but he's doing really great. Though I will say I, that he has been backsliding a little bit lately is what he told me. He's, he's starting to relax on things, which I always think is a bad idea. But in my opinion, um, well, it's a bad idea. That's, just, <laughs> that's my opinion, but he is doing good so far. Um, but he really did get through that. And to be honest, it was quite remarkable. I did, I wasn't sure what to expect because I haven't, I haven't seen it with massive amounts of people, but I do use scientific data and information to come up with the majority of my protocols and it really worked for him. So that was quite impressive. And that was it guys. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for everybody's support. And I hope that everybody found this video helpful, even though it was intended for somebody else. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.